Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Matt Davis. I'm here to do a movie review on 28 Days Later, mainly of 2003. Now, this movie was made in 2002, but I'm just gonna say it's made in 2003 because you know it was theatrical. We 2003, yeah, you can see that. But yeah, this is made by Fox Searchlight, directed by Danny Boyle. All right. Um. So basically, what the movie is about, you got this. Um. You know, scene where this man is waking up, 28 days later, and then you know he's um, you know, walking around and there's nothing but zombies there, and then winding up with a bunch of other people, and um, you know, he just um, you know, talks to a bunch of people and then mainly they're trying to get off this place, you know, kind of like the same plot as Dawn of the Dead, kind of, um, sort of, I'm not saying it's a rip off of Dawn of the Dead, because this is a really good movie, okay, and, um, you know, all throughout, you just got him fighting zombies, you know, random stuff happens in the movie, and, yeah, you got a lot of notices, you got a lot of going into stores you got this one scene where they're going to the store to look for some food and stuff and I'm not sure what really to say um first off this this is oh yeah I forgot to mention one thing um the quality to the movie looks a little mm -hmm. but if you were going to watch it I would recommend getting the blu-ray don't get the DVD because basically um if if you do even the if you do even the if you do DVD, then you can get it on DVD. It's available on DVD. But yeah, um, I watched this movie before. I watched this movie like a few months ago, and then I just saw this for four ninety six, and I just had to get it. I just had to get. I just had to get it. I was all with the other two movies I got, which was um, Terminator, which I already reviewed, and Speed, which I would like to review again, but the review was days ago too early. I'm sorry, um, that, that's my dog eating, eating food. Hey, Sarge, 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 hey, okay, wanna say hi to the people? Or I think he wants to say hi to the people. Hey, say hi to the viewers. Sarge, 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 come up here, say hi to the viewers. Hey, Sarge, you wanna say hi to the viewers? Come on, say hi. Look at the camera. Hey, look at the people. Say hi to the viewers. Sarge, Sarge, come on, say hi. I'm gonna say hi, say hi to the viewers. Come on, say hi. Hey, look at the viewers. Look, look. Say, say hello. The viewers. Look at the viewers. Okay. So, I gotta be careful because this isn't a laptop. No, it's a desktop. Um, okay. Now, anyways, back to the movie. Okay. Um, what is my favorite scene in the movie? The m of course, you got this ending, which is really cool, playing with this awesome, with this awesome freaking freaking cool music, you know, where they're all running and, and just, you know, just taking out the zombies. That was a pretty cool scene. That That's my favorite scene out of the whole movie, okay? I really like that scene. And, um, I like the ending, and which there is going, which there is a sequel called 28 Weeks Later, which I will get to that when I'll get to that. I haven't seen the movie yet, I'm thinking of printing it from Netflix. So yeah, um, this right here, this is an awesome movie. Is it my favorite zombie movie? No, this is not as good as Dawn of the Dead, not as good as Zombieland, not as good as Day of the Dead, um, not as good as Shaun of the Dead, but this is a really good movie. This is a very entertaining movie, and this poster looks real cool too. And yeah, those are eyes, I think those are... Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are eyes, okay. Everything was good about this movie. The acting the acting by Cillian Mur Cillian Murphy, Naomi Harris, Christopher Oh whatever. They did a really good job in this movie. This is a very entertaining movie. I enjoy this movie a lot. This is a fun movie. I recommend it to you guys. I, I definitely recommend it. The music 
the music's awesome in this movie. In this movie, the music sounds really good, and the special effects, the designs for the movie, was really good. The uh, you don't have a lot of zombies in the movie. You don't have a lot of blood or gore in the movie. Let's see. This is radar for strong violence and gore language and nudity. There wasn't there wasn't a huge ton of nudity. Well yeah, there there is nudity, but I mean you don't see boobs or anything like that. Okay, no, it's yeah, but um uh, what I meant to say was there's there's not a lot of gore in the movie. I mean there's like a little bit you got basically, you know, where you know, they're coughing out blood. That's more more what what, what they mean by gore. But yeah, this is a very fun movie. I love this movie. One of my favorite zombie movies. I'm not sure if I had it in my um top ten favorite zombie movies. I don't think I did. But I'll add it as an honorable mention. This is an honorable mention. This this is a if you have not seen this movie, definitely check it out. So the reason why I said you should get the Blu-ray is because, you know, if you get a DVD, the picture looks a little I re um I recommend watching it in H D so you it'll be more. Um now special features for this Blu-ray commentary by the director, the screen wire deleted scenes, an alternate ending with optional commentary. Pure Rage to make them twenty eight days later. Featurette, Jack Niff Lee music video, still photo galleries, animated story boards, theatrical teaser and trailer. Yeah, that's all right there. But yeah, definitely check this movie out. They give this movie a watch, okay? And I'm glad that I have this into my collection now. This is a very, very entertaining movie, okay? And overall, this is an awesome movie. And 5 out of 5, okay? What more can I say? 5 out of 5, okay? Sorry if I keep giving movies a 5 out of 5. Like in all my videos, I give movies 5 out of 5. I don't give all my all the movies that I watch 5 out of 5, sometimes I give them 4 out of 5, and sometimes 4 and a half. If they're okay, I give them like 3 out of 5, or 2 and a half out of 5, or 3 and a half out of 5. If they're terrible, then I give them 1 out of 5. But if they're extremely terrible, they get 0 out of 5. I'm gonna give all the movies. I just give them because I think they're very entertaining, okay? But yeah, definitely give this movie a watch. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Word out.